exciting is that still when we hit 10,000 live video on YouTube, mm -hmm. live stream, it's gonna be fun. there'd be it's lots of fun. Gonna be fun. Let's get it up to 10 K. Mm -mm. Also, mm -mm. I just can't wait until it literally hits 9.01 and I can scream. It's over 9,000. <laughs> and it's going to be a really satisfying moment in life. So that's all. That's Hi, everyone. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the Gallifrey Gals Get Warped, the show where we watch Star Trek The Next Generation and listen to cats meow. I don't even know where he is. It just echoes <laughs> from all sides at this point. I never know. He went into the bedroom, but it sounded like he was in. I just love it. He's like, Mwah. swear to God, sometimes it sounds like he's yelling, Mom. It does. Like, it absolutely are, does. I almost made that joke. And I, it blows my mind. <laughs> and I'm just like, <laughs> and then he just stares at me and I'm like, you can talk, can't you? <laughs> like, you're a talking alien. cat. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways. Let's watch Star Trek. Let's do it. I'm Paula, by the way. Oh my God, I'm Katrina. I don't think and we said that yet. Who can keep track of these things? Certainly not us. <laughs> not us. We are on episode 23. 23. Hold on. Pause. Of Star Trek The Next Generation. This episode is called Sarek. Uh, and I will tell you now, because this is just important for you to know for the episode, it'll kind of, it'll come up, but Sarek is Spock's father. Okay. I saw an image of him on the Netflix screen and mm -hmm. I was like, this looks like it, it looks like that mm -hmm. uh, race. And he's a character well, Vulcan. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. And he's uh, he's a character from the original series that yes. they have uh, so now brought they back for this episode. Connected it, and so mm -hmm. this is Spock's father, but which was apparently, Spock. but not Spock, which was apparently a big deal because originally they really wanted to distance Gene Roddenberry. Really wanted to kind of distance this. That's series what I from remember the you telling me. Yeah, which is why like. Romulans didn't show up for a while. Klingons weren't bad guys anymore. They brought in the yeah. because they wanted different. And some of the Vulcans guys like and... were good guys. Like we've met like good Vulcans and Romulans look very similar. Oh, yeah, they're, they're from the, the same. same. They like have a diverging like cultural split at one point. Okay. But okay. um Vulcans are like very uh like pacifist is that the right word to be using i'm sorry y'all if but I, in the original but like series, they are weren't uh, they or vulcans, vulcans? Were, romulans were bad guys but oh not vulcans. okay okay mm -hmm. never mind vulcans have like emptied themselves of emotion they're very logical interesting um, yeah so okay i feel like mm -hmm. i'm learning a lot right now mm -hmm. we're so uh interesting yeah so Spock's father i'm guessing that's his name sarek yeah yeah, I was like, his I name is feeling. Spock's dad. Hey, it's Spock's dad. This is Spock's dad. That's just how What's they up, all pop? call him. Hey, pops. <laughs> so yeah. Um. Okay. Fantastic. I love it. Bring it on. Captain's log. Start it. Bring it on. Nine one seven point four. Okay. Captain, would you be so kind as to show us to our quarters? I prefer to view the conference room first. Ambassador. Her head. I'm sure Sakath and I can handle all the necessary details. I will examine it for myself. Perhaps it would be best if we settled in first. Yeah, you shady ass motherfuckers. They worry about my health, Captain. Too much. Why not ask his wife if she'd like to attend? That's an excellent idea, Captain. What? You have the bridge, number one. Just the way that he like, like, I had thought of that, but what a good that idea. That is a fantastic idea. Come I'm in. just like, okay. I'm not intruding. Not at all. Look at that plan. Ooh. But mm. Sarek is in meditation at the moment. I'm here to talk to you. Actually, I came to see you. Is that it? Can I get out of here now? It's your hurry. Yeah. You don't really think anything's going to happen with Suzanne Dumont, do you? Listen, Jordy. He's done not spending the night with a good book like some people. What's that supposed to mean? Just what it sounds like. Let me tell you something. 
You'd get more action out of a good book than you'll ever Why see. Why are they getting so aggressive? She's not going to waste her time on someone like you. Someone like me? She's way out of your league. Since when did you become an expert on women? Compared to you, every male on this ship is an expert on women. Well, you start out to fight my women on the holodeck. What did you say? You heard me. Yeah, I heard you. Just what do you think is going to stop? Something wrong? Was it the fumes messing with the stuff? I asked a question. Anything you'd like to talk about, George? What the fuck was that about? No, sir. Something happened. That's not normal. Look at his eye go. Is it I? I don't trust it. I noticed that Lieutenant Wolf has put Ensign D'Amato on report for insubordination. I love the cello. Mm, it's one of my favorites. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. You said you wanted to see me? Uh oh. I thought you were going to be oh, at the concert last night. I said I may be going. Suzanne uh -oh. wanted to go to the Arboretum. Why, what is happening to everybody? What is happening? Captain Picard asked me where you were. I don't like making excuses for you. Excuses? Come on, Mom, it wasn't an official function. Listen, young man, you have responsibilities, and, and I want you to live up to them. he's not affected anymore. Don't you think you're overreacting a little? That's weird. Don't talk back to me. Away from <gasps> you! And then I just slapped him. Really hard. I slapped Wesley. Do you know why you did it? <sighs> I've never hit my son in this life. Is it my imagination, or have tempers become a little frayed on the ship lately? I have noticed. Yeah. <laughs> I hadn't noticed. Well, maybe now you notice. Oh my God! What a fun day on set. I see what you mean. <laughs> I see what you mean. <laughs> All right, guys, ready? Great. Everything. I cannot delay the conference. Not for a day, not for an hour. The schedule itself required three months of negotiations. Nevertheless, we appear to be I facing give you my a word of problem. honor that the ambassador is in perfect health. Is that enough? No, it isn't. Mr. Mendrosa, you it's are not. dealing with a theory full of holes, Captain. Why am I not affected by Sarek's supposed condition? And Perrin. How could his wife function normally if this theory of yours is correct? I cannot explain that. Hundreds of others on board have not been affected either. I have not. It appears to be random. Proximity, apparently, has no mm. bearing on this phenomenon. Can you accept the logic of continuing this mission? Damn. Tell your captain. The mission is oh, in jeopardy. Oh, damn, Data. Sackath has been able, until recently, to use his telepathic skills to reinforce Sarek's emotional control, thus protecting others from the effects of his deterioration. He hasn't been doing a very good job. The strain of this mission on Sarek has made it impossible. Mm. Someone has to confront him. <sighs> On a task that I'm looking forward to. I don't understand this. Everyone is protecting hey, Sarek, his stop. wife, Mendrosen, even you. I'm watching a thing. What will you have me do? March down there and destroy the land. The mission with the Lagarans cannot be carried out with Sarek in this condition. I know that. Then tell him that there is no way. Don't you tell me what to do. Captain. Commander. What's happening to you? Of course. I regret that we have seen so little of each other during this voyage, Captain. The loss is mine, Ambassador. Captain, may I talk with you in private? You were speaking of your belief that I suffer from Bendai syndrome. I have been accused of many things in my life. Never an excess of emotion. Mm -hmm. Sark, I see no reason to continue this discussion. On the contrary. I have been using my limited abilities to strengthen your mental discipline. Your efforts will no longer be required. That would not be wise. 
may not be wise. I share your concern for your crew. However, you must agree that it is not unusual for a starship to encounter unexplained <laughs> phenomena. <laughs> Not wrong. Therefore, Every episode. Since I can assure you that I am not the cause of your You're difficulties, the logical course would be to have your doctor continue the search. She has Cheers. been. I saw you cry. I did not cry. I was there. I saw so the tears. What? You exaggerate, Captain. I recall only one tear. Uh, so you were emotionally affected only by the one music. That is not possible. You still haven't answered my question, Sarek. They will not meet with any other member of the Federation. I must be allowed to complete my mission. There are no other logical solutions. No other logical solutions? But, Ambassador, there are always other solutions. You have said so yourself many times. What I meant was that... Sarek of Vulcan would never be afraid of looking straight at something he did not want to see. It would be illogical! 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 <laughs> Mind meld. Between mind meld? <laughs> heard me reference this before. Yes, I do, Ambassador. But I also realize the. In like a series benefits. one of Doctor Who. <laughs> it would be linked telepathically, sharing our thoughts. I was like, I was like a mind meld. One mind. My mind to your mind. Your thoughts to my thoughts. Uh. No! It is. It is. Wrong! It is wrong! A lifetime of discipline washed away, and in its place. <laughs> Bedlam. Bedlam! It will pass, all of it. Just another hour or so. You're doing fine. Just hold on. No! This weakness disgusts me. I hate it! Where is my logic? I want to feel everything. But I am a Vulcan. I must feel nothing. Give me back my control. Jean Luc. Spock. Amanda. Did you know? Marin. Can you know how much I love you? And try. What will happen to him then? The effects of Ben Dyer syndrome are irreversible. Medical research is always continuing, of course. He loves you very much. <laughs> I know. We shall always retain the best part of the other inside us. Hi, Remy. Bye, Remy. Peace and long life. Live long and prosper. I now feel like I'm like. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is the first word that's coming to mind but yeah. it, it's not I feel like I'm legally allowed to do this now <laughs> as a Star Trek fan you know like yeah <laughs> you now have your own emotional connection to it yeah yeah damn so um wow Patrick Stewart is uh, he's, yeah uh, so it was about this time uh, that Gene Roddenberry, the creator of Star Trek, was also kind of going yeah. through his own um, uh, aging and 
battle with dementia essentially dementia may, he may not have, but like everyone's like he was not himself anymore um and again um michael pillar our um, head of the writer's room here was uh like i realized how much this episode truly was kind of a reflection on what we were kind of experiencing with gene and this person who we really really respected who just wasn't himself anymore and really kind of how that's reflected in what Sarek is experiencing, which I thought was really, really interesting. Definitely watching it. It was, I very quickly connected it to the ideas of dementia and Alzheimer's. Yeah. And uh, he also said, this is really interesting. Uh, yeah, there's this quote that Michael Pillar is like, you know, they, cause they had a version of the script, I think where they had uh, just a nut, some other, some random Vulcan. And then they decided it should be Sarek. Uh, and Michael Pillar was like, having it be this established character like this shows that like mental health can affect even the greatest Anybody. of men. Yeah. Um, Gosh, that mind meld where Picard takes on all those emotions, that performance Ooh. is so bonkers. I mean, it's it's things it's it's things like that, it's situations like that, it's scenes like that that have inspired me since I was a child to want to do this. Yeah, you know, yeah. that that to make people connect, to make people feel, however they connect, however, you know, but I I bet anything, you sit anybody down and have them watch this episode, they're gonna connect to it somehow in some personal way, you know, like it makes you feel and it makes you think and it makes mm -hmm. you reflect and, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and Patrick Stewart is just, and, you know Gates McFadden playing off of him they're both separately they are two incredibly remarkable actors and then you put them together and it's like okay I yeah. can't handle this like <laughs> yeah alone they both make me feel things you know when Beverly has her shots held on her and I'm like Ugh. or when Picard has his and I'm like oh and so just her holding yeah. him was like for me too, it's really powerful. Just see the scene where she's just like kind of sitting with him as he's going, feeling his emotions. Letting him go through and saying, it. Yeah, and just like kind of being with him while he has them. And um, I don't know, I feel like that's the thing I can relate to. He's just trying to like be with a person while they're struggling with something. Absolutely. And um, at the end being, um, you know, being like, don't just feel the feet. Don't try to stop that what you're feeling just write, write it out. out and it'll pass um yeah. And i i yeah i just those find things that to be powerful it is it's extremely powerful they need to be felt because if these things aren't felt they're shoved down and bottled up and come out in explosive ways however that may be later on um and it's so important to have someone support you in that way to have someone sit there and not try to fix it or make it better or sit there and just tell you it's going to be okay because sometimes you just don't want to fucking hear it <laughs> like i just i don't want to fucking hear it i just need to be sad and it's like yeah. all right well be sad mm -hmm. write it out mm -hmm. yeah uh, their relationship is just so beautiful too yeah and that very small moment at the end when picard touches Farron's hand you know and they shake it's just you could feel it all rush into him you know and he was just like he loves you so much yeah it was that was a very that's they're all so good episode they're all so good we got three more I don't want this season. The season's gonna end. I don't want this season to ever end. <laughs> well, the show keeps going. 
<laughs> I don't want this one to stop. Pretty good. I don't want it to stop. It's so good. Oh my God. <sighs> well, you could tell that uh, us Gallifrey gals don't uh, try to hold back our emotions. Never. <laughs> and anyway, we're here to just bleh. feel it all for you. So. There it is. It's just bleh. oh, look at that with a support narwhal. <laughs> oh, I think that there was a solid uh, three minutes where I just held my face like this. I think that's true. Like solid <laughs> three minutes or I couldn't move. <laughs> like I tried and I was like, I can't move. <laughs> yep. Oh, that was a very powerful. Yep. That was good. It was good. It's, it's going to keep y'all. being good, y'all. I had a feeling. I didn't, I wore a little mascara today, but I didn't wear any eyeliner. <laughs> so I had much. a feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Well, guess... where we are, it's the end of the season, so we're having some some powerful episodes, yeah. I'm scared. <laughs> How do you think the season's going to end? Do you have any guesses? Well, I feel like the Romulans are going to come back mm. because of what's his fucking face, who he was like, I look forward to seeing you mm-hmm. again, Picard. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, well, if that isn't some fucking foreshadowing if I ever saw one. Mm-hmm. Um so I don't know, maybe he's going to come back and there's going to be like a battle of some sort with the Romulans. I would be a little taken aback and surprised if the Borg came back right now. Mm-hmm. That would throw me for a loop. Mm. Uh, but I feel like it's going to be a big bad. Mm. I feel like it's going to be a big bad kind of situation. I don't know. That's maybe. my the Daleks will come back. How cool would that be? <laughs> Steven Moffat, can you hear me? <laughs> don't. Don't bring him into my show. Do that meme. <laughs> you know which one I'm talking about. <laughs> someone in our Patreon made a little meme where uh, like someone like walks into a burning r- building and is like, and I'll it's save you face. my face. And Stephen Moffat in the room and then seeing it Stephen Moffat and then like it's like the next panel is like they were dead when I got here. I don't know. I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> so good. And they got one of your grumpy faces. It's great. <laughs> oh oh yeah. yeah, Moffat, stay away from Star Trek. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, but we won't stay away from tra- Star Trek and neither should you. So stick around next week. We've got another episode and then another one. And then another one. That. That's our season three finale. You know, you don't want to miss that. If you want to see the whole reaction, everything that Katrina literally does, join our Patreon, Patreon uh, slash Gallifrey Gals, where you can see full length reactions and have access to our discord, which is a pretty fun place. And where you're probably going to see me have some sort of psychotic breakdown. <laughs> I I just feel like it's not going to, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I'm going to get left on a, a cliffhanger that I'm not going to be too thrilled about. Mm, who could say? So we'll see. We'll see. We sure, she, we sure will see. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thanks oh. so much for being here for your gal for gals getting warped. Stay and- tuned as we continue to boldly watch what no noob has ever watched before. Live long and prosper. Peace and long life. I'm bad at it. There we go. It's so funny. I've been able to do this since I was a kid, but never understood it. Now you know. Now I get it. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a little thumbs up. And if you want to be notified when we post new content, Go ahead and subscribe to our channel and hit that little bell in the corner.